welcome to my office, you guys. I'm so excited. If you've been following me, y'all know that this has been a process of reorganizing, decluttering. I was gonna do a whole series on this and I filmed it, but lost the rest of the footage for the rest of the videos. So if you wanna see what this room looked like before, I'll link it above. It was quite the mess. I'm not done yet. Still a little messy. It's still a little cluttered, but this is way better than what it looked like before. Um, but this video is going to be about organizing my closet. I'm well aware that a lot of you babes probably don't have a closet dedicated to beauty products like I do. But I wanted to show you guys some really great ways to organize because I know anybody could do this and I really love how it turned out. So I want to inspire you guys, encourage you guys to organize because this feels so good to know where all my makeup is and get inspired to do fun makeup. Like today I'm wearing orange. So I'm just really excited to have all of my things organized and in place to get inspired to do my makeup. So this is a closet as you can see. And this used to be more arts and crafts, but now it's hair, beauty, and hair accessories. I love it. But let's start over here. So yeah, this used to be more craft stuff, but craft stuff come in handy. So I made this whole section craft related. So I got these containers, toolboxes from like Michaels and everything's organized. I have like paints, I have sewing supplies. It's really nice. And then these are already built in here, these shelves. And I decided to use it for just like the extra stuff at the moment. So I have cleaning products in these bins, which I got at Home Goods, and I really like them. I think it makes it look really nice and chic and kind of put away. And up here, this is a really cool divider, if you can see it. These are actually for sweaters. So you buy these and push them in the shelf and it'll help you stack up your sweaters. And I decided to use it for makeup bags. As you can see, I have like a shit ton of Glossier bags it's because I'm a Glossier rep and these come in handy when you're traveling or if I'm doing a giveaway. And then all my makeup bags are here. And I actually donated a lot of makeup bags, but these are the ones that I love. I really love clear bags, because I love seeing what I have. These are some favorites that I kept. And then just other stuff that I still need to finish. I thought this was a really smart idea. I got this at the container store a while ago, and I used it for craft supplies. But now I've used it for shipping tape, because I sell different things. and. It's nice to have the tape where it's at. And then these matches and just kind of like a little junk drawer box of things like rope and batteries. Oh. And now for the piece de resistance, right? Is that what you call it? Mm -hmm. Amanda's helping me film my best friend. So, I'm sorry, Massey, does that sound right? Okay, so <laughs> these shelving units, I have two of them. These are from Ikea. And I was so excited to film how I hired a TaskRabbit, okay. which was really nice. He built it and it was amazing. So I definitely recommend TaskRabbit. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me talk about it. Can you guys not out? <laughs> <laughs> so that TaskRabbit was amazing and he built it. It took a long time though, I felt bad, but then I did it because I'm paying him. But imagine he had like a boyfriend or your best friend doing it. Yeah, I was like, this is no. Okay, so we'll start <laughs> at the top. Um, I love these and this is why I wanted to show you guys how I organize because I know a lot of you babes could use these and a lot of the organization stuff I think this is the only one well besides the lipsticks that are like dedicated to hair and beauty so this is actually a headband organizer and I stacked my scrunchies in here too so I have like some of like what do you call these kind of more these type of headband oh they're headband like turban style you mm -hmm. slide them on your head yeah versus like mm -hmm. this style. There's a difference of headbands. So I have my scrunchies in there and then these are more like turban style. And then I have my headband stacked here, which is so nice because I can see everything. As you can see, I love headbands. I love a statement <laughs> headband. And it's nice to see them all. Whoa, but. It's actually really genius. It's not <laughs> like great. That. So yeah. you're supposed to stack them, but I have more and I just started to kind of like stick them over. And it fits nicely in here, which I love. And I don't know how long these books are going to be in here. I used to have like some Ikea shelving, but I just stuck them in there because I wanted it like put away. But I have a bunch of books in there, magazines. I used to intern out Vogue. So like these are the couple magazines that I was on photo shoots on. Another magazine I interned out. So I kept those, more special things. But I went ahead and decluttered everything that wasn't useful to me and things I just didn't need. That was a lot of stuff. 
and then now for these, I feel like you guys have probably seen these. These are typical drawers. These are actually for shoes. I think you get them at the container store, but they have small ones and larger ones. So as you can see, I put foundation concealer, a label. Did I, I used a label maker for all of them, which is so nice to see where everything's at. Powders down here, cream blushes. And another hot tip, which I learned from Marie Kondo, you guys, is you put a box within a box. I have the price on here. So these were $8.99. Kind of expensive, but I think they were totally worth it. But um, Marie Kondo style is to stack a box or put place a box within a box so you can kind of organize, which I thought is nice. So like my cream blushes can stack here. These are just like different shapes. And then these are more stick blushes. And it's really nice being able to see everything. And for eyelashes, same thing for powder blushes. I put another box in here. Can, like see all the blushes i really like how that was mm -hmm. i like how it turned out so i think that's a hot tip for you guys i did that for my highlighters as well and then so i picked out all the shelving all right this is a really cool way to organize your eyeliners i like them in cups and stuff so you can see but i found this to be really it's a hair in there sorry <laughs> really nice so these are all pencils these are colored, these are liquids. And what's cool about this container, this is actually for batteries. Mm. So that's why I wanted to do this video to show you guys. There are so many different containers out there and just get creative. So this is what I thought. I would, would have be, never known that. Right, isn't that awesome? So this yeah. is a battery organizer. I used it for eyeliners and eyebrow pencils. But I also have brows here, so I didn't realize that. Well, these are, I guess, pencils. These are brow gels. Mm -hmm. I guess there's a difference. Oh yeah. And then I also did that for my mascara, which is crazy how much mascara I have. And I actually been like interchanging them all. So again, a battery organizer for mascaras. And then I also used it for single eyeshadows. So mm. these are all single glitters, Glossier glitter jellies. So yeah, it's really nice having individuals. So nice. Yeah. Right away. Really cool. And then this is specifically, I guess, for beauty. I had my eye, um, I had my brushes in here in my bathroom at one point, so now it has all of my eyeshadow sticks, and I like that stick eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And then this one's a beauty one too, and that's where I put like the fun liquid eyeshadows, primers, and then yeah, these are all brow gels. And then I have a whole separate one for primers. And this kind of worked out, so I, again, got these for the drawers, but it sat nicely, so I could have smaller primers up here, and then I have a bunch of primers in there. And what's awesome, too, is I repurposed a lot of the containers I had, so I didn't really have to buy too much stuff. And then I have my setting sprays here. Kind of worked out. Like, it's really nice how it separates and organizes everything. And then lips. So these obviously are for makeup. These are really helpful. I ended up buying two more because I started to get some more lipsticks in and lip pencils. Wait, what do we call these? Lip crayons, I guess. Yeah, like a lip mm -hmm. pencil. Yeah, let's not, these are lip pencils. So I use this for my lip pencils, which is kind of nice because you can kind of see everything. Mm -hmm. uh, lipsticks, glosses more glasses. I really love seeing everything. It's so nice. And then I actually use this for lip balms. I didn't realize how many lip balms I had. Ooh, that's a good one. That pink one. Oh, the Laneige. Mm -hmm. I, this came from like a Sephora sample, like a free gift. And it was such a nice size. Like mm -hmm. there's still so much yeah, left. The regular, one, the regular ones are bigger. Yeah. And I heard they come in tubes. This isn't it, but there's a tube one too. So lip balms, which is nice. And small containers that I repurpose. So these are have all my eyelash curlers and tweezers and mirrors or yeah, different like palettes and stuff. So it all has a place which is so freaking nice. These are powder puffs. Some things I haven't used yet. And then I also have brush cleaner, which I'm not a fan of this one, but I just want to toss it. I have to try the spray one, but I found a concoction that I love that's natural and uses Dr. Broner's, it uses lavender oil and witch hazel. It's amazing. I'm gonna have to post a story on that. And then this is cool. This is what I used to clean my brushes. 
It's dirty. cute. Yeah, and then I got this, but I haven't used it yet. It's a brush cleaner. I got it at Walmart. So after you use your brushes, you just kind of clean it off first. Mm. I need to use that. So yeah, this is lip products and just different extras that I organized in here. This has little spoolies. My mom used to mm. do my makeup, well, not my makeup, I used to do photo shoots in my early 20s. I was the photographer and my mom for a minute was the makeup artist. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. not in a minute. She was for a while. Yeah. And she had like a whole kit. So I kept this because I'm like, this is so nice. This is what she'd use for the mascaras. Mm. So I've kept them. I'm like, it mm -hmm. comes in handy. Maybe a friend wants to try a mascara, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, my best friend's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like candy. candy. It's like a candy store. It's crazy. It's so exciting. Okay, so what the heck? I had no idea I had all of these brushes, and I actually got this idea. Kim Kardashian posted a stories, and I think makeup or her makeup by Mario launched some brushes, and she opened up her drawer and she had all of her makeup brushes in the and not these organizers, but had them organized like this. So these are fluffy brushes, these are flat brushes, angled brushes, blush brushes, and then these are powder, bronzer, finishing brushes. And I cannot believe I've accumulated all these, but it's really nice to have them. And then I've been using this after I'm done. So these are dirty now, I need to wash them. But yeah, after I use it, I'll just stick it here versus throwing it back in there. So this is kind of my dirty brush holder now. Oh, really smart. Mm -hmm. And I love this, so these, aren't necessarily palette organizers. Well, I think now they create them, but you can just use little mail or divider organizers. And let's see if I can show you guys. Mm. It's all like stain a certain way, which you guys can see. For all these follow. So it's nice little palette organizer. Mm -hmm. Love that. So you can get these at Home Goods. You can get these off Amazon. I'll link options below. All right, now I have to put this away. <laughs> Hold on. Have them like strategically placed. Pause for reset. <laughs> oh. We're back. I brought my balance back. Um, and yeah, so I have all the palettes organized here. I had to put this one this way. Yeah, because they I have them going this way, and then I had to use the opposite the way. Vertical. Vertical, there you go. You know, this way. <laughs> To organize these because they're so big but it's just really nice to have these organized like this really love it so that's the eyeshadows and then these don't pull out but these are the smaller version of those other larger home good ones i got and this is where i store extra product which i have for giveaways and different things this is makeup this is skincare this is hair and then these are pretty deep, so I have other stuff back there, which is nice that I'm saving. And then I have books here. I can't believe I have Kim Kardashian's selfie book. Oh, yeah. I have no idea why she signed <laughs> it, though. So special. You guys, uh, you guys know each other. Mm -hmm, it's, it's very personal. But uh, I have all my fashion books here. Funny story on these fashion books on how I collected them. So my final thesis in college was about the business and fashion and art. Wait. The business and fashion, yeah, no, the business and art and fashion magazines. There we go. So I checked out a lot of these books and nice coffee table books that my library allowed me to source and I never returned them. <laughs> and so in order to get my degree, my mom had to pay the library fees and I ended up getting to keep the books, which is kind of cool because these are such, a, because these are super expensive books. Um, what she had to pay wasn't as crazy as what they would cost. So I'm pretty happy with those. They're really nice. So, fashion books here too. And then these are old that I repurposed from Ikea. These have like cords and extension, um, other cords and extension cords. I have when I used to make my jewelry, my chokers. So I have those there. And then I have like cameras and lenses here. So you guys don't know. I'm a bit of a photographer. It was one of my passions growing up. So, I still have all my equipment. And then, here, a lot of that is, um, is hair and skincare, which is really cool, and some other things. So, another thing I recommend you guys are these Lazy Susans because, as you can see, my head is like right here, and this is really tall. So, this allows me to see everything. I labeled it as well. Want to share the label maker that I scored at Office Depot for twenty dollars? 
I don't know if it's still on sale, but that's what I used. <laughs> and yeah, so dry shampoos and texture sprays, and I have them facing outward, so when you spin it, you can see everything. These are texture sprays or wave sprays. And here I have some deep conditioners and leave-in treatments. And then back there, if you guys can see, ooh, have shampoos and conditioners and just extra products. But I'll show you down here how I have those stacked because that's another pantry organizer. Ooh. All right, so Lazy Susans, definitely recommend, especially in the bathroom. I had this in my bathroom and it was nice to be able to spin everything. So you guys can totally put that on your counter. I have a different style here. So this one was actually for like cake decorating stuff, but I have skincare in here. But here, I just want to show you guys. Actually, I'll show you guys another way. But I have more of these stackers back here. So these are pantry seasoning stackers. So they're tiered. Mm. So like three mm. levels. So I have sunscreens there. I have toners. I have sunscreen, body sunscreens here. All right, so these are the cabinet organizers that I have for the shampoo and conditioner, the sunscreens, and the toners. So you can just stack them. So you can do the shortest here, right, and the tallest on the bottom. So you can kind of see. since. Product shapes are so many different sizes. Um, it allows you to see all the products nicely. Um, but yeah, so this is how I have my skincare organized. So I have face wash, dark spot and brightening products and scrubs here. Anything cut, any exfoliators as well. It's like the glossy solution. And then, oh, exfoliating masks here too. And then these are regular masks. I have my serums here and eye cream. So it's really nice to see everything because I'm actually using my products. And then in this drawer, I have another Lazy Susan, and these are all for vitamins and supplements. I actually haven't tried all of these yet, so that's why I'm keeping them here, because I'm really curious to try them. This whole container is sheet masks, which is nice to see everything. This one, I really like. This was from the container store, and this has my LED face light stems and the mask and yeah the mask one which I think you told me is now off the market right uh, I think so yeah. I don't I haven't seen or maybe it. Juliana told me one of my friend my facialist she told me that now this one's off the market which I remember having it on in my room and like the light and my dad and my mom are like what the heck are you doing I don't know if this is safe so but I still have it hmm. but I have other tools in there like my new face and the LED. Ooh. So, and then this container is mass supplies. So I repurpose this for my bathroom. I have my headbands, these spatulas. I don't know why I have two of them. I have a soap in here because I have no idea why, but this is what I use to clean my beauty blenders. Mm. And then I love these silicone um, makeup drops. This is actually another way I apply my masks, which is nice. You're not using your finger, especially when you have nails. And then this container here is where my glosses and facial rollers are. I love a good gloss up. I have a tutorial on that if you're curious. And then my nail products, which I don't have a lot anymore because I get my nails done, but polish remover, nail file, nail brush. This is actually a really cool polish remover. It's oh, a cream. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. it's really mm. interesting. Nail decals. Mm, cool. So I have a little nail section. And then these are containers. These are bigger versions of the battery organizer, which is cool. So I have all my glossy product in here. Glossier rep, so I know everything Glossier is. <laughs> and then this other container, I have more travel stuff, so like nipple covers, shoe, per like, my mom gave me these paddings for shoes, mm -hmm. so they don't hurt the balls of your feet, luggage tags, and mm -hmm. back here is actually all travel size makeup, so this is what I'll grab if I, you know, don't want to take full size products, I have mascara, setting spray, little travel cotton pads. So once you travel, and these are just different extras. And then this drawer, this is really cool, you guys. These are actually reusable cotton pads. Verse sent them, and I love that. And I was curious how you wash them, and then I saw a tutorial. So this is where the little pads came in, the little bag. So you put this in the laundry with your clothes. Hmm. No idea. That was cool. Uh, here we have makeup wipes, deodorant, 
I've accumulated a lot of deodorant. <laughs> this is cool too. This is another one. These are all travel size hair products. So if I need shampoo, texture sprays, I have a lot. Little setting sprays, just grab those. My fake tanners. Really cool. They're just like little perfume. I had this extra tray, so I just put my perfumes there. A little mirror. And then, yeah, so that's it for beauty. And then in here, I thought was really fun. I have all my sunglasses in here, which is kind of just an overflow of my room because I didn't have a place to store all these. So I picked out this tray. It has these plastic dividers, but I haven't put them in yet. And then used another container for eyeglass cleaners and cases. So I could just, you know, grab one of these when I'm on the go. But it's really nice seeing all these. And then we have hot tools down here, flat iron, curling iron. I have a bigger one with my blow dryer, crimper, diffuser. I use another long one of these for the lawns, which is cool. I have a T3 curler and you twist off the different size wand you want. It's really cool. You can interchange them all. And oh, I have more attachments for my blow dryer. And then this is really fun. So this is a craft organizer and I actually have all of my hair clips in here and it's really nice to have all of these organized. I didn't use a label maker on them too. A little scrunchies, rubber bands. It's just so nice knowing where everything is, you guys. Love that. So again, yeah, get creative. You can find so many different ways to organize your goodies. Just go to container store or craft store can find all this stuff. And then I repurposed these containers. I actually repurposed. I ended up having, originally had these for my beauty products. So you can see it's kind of stained. I tried to clean it off. But now this is where a lot more of my tech stuff is. So I have all my hard drives in here, which is really nice. Um, iPhone lights. A lot of these have been gifted, which is crazy. Funny beauty products. But lights, SD cards, film. Ooh. Wait. Get in there. And then cords, so I have mics in here. I have things organized from Apple cords, chargers, regular cords, mouses, just all the extra stuff that was thrown. Go check out that other video, you guys, because you'll see how it was organized, and this is so brilliant to me. And then I have tripods in here, which is nice. Amanda's using one, but this is where the tripods go. And then batteries, external batteries and headphones. So it's so nice having a home for everything and knowing where everything's at. So I love that. And then this is something I need to go through. This is like my high school uniform and like stuff oh, I need to. I still have mine. <laughs> yeah, those are like the things that I couldn't get rid of really easily. So I'm going to set some time in the next couple months and just organize. And then last little section I have in here, if you guys can see, I have clothing racks. So this is kind of a nice little thing for tripods, clothing racks, my backpack, my photography backpack. And up there too, I have things stored, put away, like my graduation dress and first communion gown. So everything has a home. It's so nice. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration and encourages you guys to organize your beauty because it took a while but this feels so good and I just yeah getting ready is a lot easier now so it was a labor of love oh my gosh it was so <laughs> worth it though it was a bitch though excuse my language but it was hard work and I'm so happy oh my gosh I forgot to share this this is a hairbrush organizer so I have my combs brush blow dry brush and it's meant to be for hair combs. And then back here too, another Lazy Susan stacker. I have perfumes up here and moisturizers. So, very nice. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, it was a lot of work, but it feels good. And I hope this inspires you, babe. So take time to organize your beauty room, your bathroom, because it's so nice knowing where everything's at and getting ready and being inspired to do my makeup and do my hair. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll catch you in my next video.